Hi, ARK fans. Welcome to ARK Invest Daily, your daily dose of ARK information. Today is April 6th, and we'll be summarizing April 6th trades today. As you can see in this uh, heat chart, I mean, it's mostly looking good, very green, especially Roku, Tesla, Square, their top 10 uh, companies. But there are some red spots, so uh, stay with me to find out what are those. And at the same time, uh, good news is that the fund has reached back up to the level of 50 billion, so that's great. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, support this channel. I'll see you on the other side with more details. Welcome back guys. In ARK summary section, we take a look at high level numbers like market value and total number of companies that they are diversified in. The good news is market value is back up to 50.7 billion, which is great. It is up uh, from yesterday about 1.7%. Um, not the highest level that it had reached once though, uh, the highest level it had reached was 60.8 billion on February 19th. Uh, so hopefully that uh, it will reach there back again in April, uh, but let's find out. Uh, let's, let's see one day at a time how it goes. So far looking good in past few days. Um, in terms of number of companies that they are diversified in since the time I've been recording, it's been consi consistently going up and then during the uh, red time, which is late February and entire March, they have reduced certain companies there. You can watch old episodes to find out which companies were reduced in this area. And then more recently also there were four companies reduced here, one more added here. Old episodes or weekly summaries will give you details of what those companies were, um, uh, I mean the old episodes that I've done. This is the point where they added a new fund completely, which was our exploration fund. A lot of people were waiting for that. So that's why the total number of companies they are invested in jumped by 11, which is their 11 new companies in uh, space exploration, but a total of 38, com 38 companies. So um, 11 of those are new. And uh, then yesterday they reduced a company, which was from Israel fund. Uh, you can watch yesterday's episode to find out which one it is. Um, and today they are maintaining 272 companies. Now. Uh, well, it reached 50 billion and that's why I pulled all the data in past just to see what was the peak that it reached in past and hence we have the whole date range selected but we can uh, go back to selecting lesser days so that it's more consumable uh, when we go over the trends. Now in terms of um, the pie chart of various ETFs, uh, the picture hasn't changed much except that ARCX is almost same as print now. 1.2% of overall fund. Uh, they have bought more and more positions into these. It started out as uh, less than 1% and that's why I had to add this decimal uh, just to even uh, make it visible and uh, slowly they've been adding more and more position. Well, not slowly, aggressively they've been adding more and more position. First it became bigger than Israel uh, and now it's equal to print, uh, same as print in terms of weightage. Hopefully end of this week we'll see that this is becoming bigger than um, Israel and print. Um, other than that, the weightage of rest of them kind of stays the same. RK remains the biggest one followed by genomics, followed by next generation web. Uh, and then uh, fintech followed by robotics and autonomous, uh, ARCX, Israel and print, print and Israel, sorry. Um, and one more thing that people are waiting for is the next FANG to come out of uh, ARCG. So hopefully ARCG is going to be a much bigger share of the whole pie in future. We'll see. Uh, we'll uh, take one day at a time and see when that, when that happens, but it is expected to happen uh, as per Kathy Wood. In terms of number of companies, a ranking of the companies, uh, we keep an eye on top five and then some of the special companies that are near and dear to everybody's heart. Um, well, all of these companies are, but some of them are more popular than the others, so obviously. So in top five, there is no change. Uh, Tesla, Teladoc, Roku and Zillow. Um, Square, Roku and Zillow, uh, so that remains the same. But let's take a look at uh, Grayscale Bitcoin today. It's been a long time since we looked at it. Yeah, it has been in 30s uh, ranking and it is still the same. If you look at the trends, uh, number of shares have reduced to 7.87 billion and the stock price has been uh, a little bit of a roller coaster, not too much, but um, uh, $50.60 $50 ending in uh, $50.60 today. Market value that they are invested in is 0.4 billion. Um, so that's Grayscale Bitcoin. It's a, it's a, what they invest in in lieu of uh, Bitcoin. They cannot invest in Bitcoin uh, legally, so they invest in this company, in this fund. It follows the price of Bitcoin generally, but it looks like it's it has not been. Uh, it's uh, $50.60 and Bitcoin is uh, near 60 I thought, but I have to check um, more recent data. But anyway, so that's uh, our summary section. Let's go to biggest moves. Um, and the threshold today for movement of shares is point uh, is is five percent, and um, what we see is Trimble, which is number one company for Arc uh, uh, Arc exploration. They have bought more shares there. Looks like they added to their position twenty one uh, percent extra shares um, for Trimble. T 
TRMB, but it is present in uh, three more ETFs as well. Biggest one in RQ followed by RK, then RKX and then print. So yeah, it's present in multiple of them. Airbus again, one more where they bought a lot of uh, shares, 15% extra, 10K shares. Uh, Tails, SA, what more there? I'm gonna hover over all of these so you can see more details pop up in this uh, chart above. Um, and on the right side, the trend charts. Tails Trade Desking, which is Edward Programmatic Advertising Company. Um, added more there. The Saw Systems, Honeywell, Reinvent. And a lot of these are RKX only. As, as I hover over these, you'll see which ETF are they present in. Again, they are present, all of them are present in ARK uh, K. And they've been aggressively adding positions there. So yeah, this one is G Signify Health. Yeah, we know, we all know that. 5% extra added there. So that's biggest move by shares. We always look at biggest moves by dollars as well because maybe sometimes just a little bit of movement of shares uh, can cause big movement in dollars. And that's why that company won't show up in above chart, but uh, hope to catch it in this chart. So Roku, Square, Zillow, all their top companies moving on the positive side. Yeah, and one more thing today in biggest move, there is nothing negative in, in shares chart, um, in this threshold at least. Everything is positive. They bought more and more shares. In um, biggest moves by dollar, um, I'm going to hover over all these companies so you can take a look at the trends. Roku is present in um, RW and RK, bought more position there, stock price up and hence overall value up. Square again up, present in three ETFs. Zillow, three ETFs again up. Trimble, we, this one uh, popped up in the above chart as well. C Limited, again in three ETFs, popping up. Spotify Technologies in two ETFs, going up, stock price again, stock uh, exact sciences, stock price going up, adding position as well. Tibilio, stock price going up, added a little bit of position. Baidu, stock price up, added a little bit of position there as well. 10X Genomics, um, added position there, and stock price up. Twitter Inc, added a little bit of position, and stock price back up to $67. Zoom. Uh, stock price up, added a little bit of position as well. Trade desk popped up in the above chart as well. So that's uh, the biggest moves in negatives. There is only one uh, uh, item in negative, which is intercontinental exchange. Uh, they um, reduced position by 2.7% and the stock price is also down and hence um, negative 23.1 million there. Um, this chart looking super uh, green, not super green, but uh, mostly dominated by green for sure. Um, there are ones that are negative like CRISPR, Intelia, Invitae, this looks right as well, Arc Beam Therapeutics, to, what is this one, T, 2U Inc. This is very red in uh, Arc Web, Next Generation Web, it is Grayscale Bitcoin, very negative there. In Arc F, this is very negative too. This is uh, Intercontinental Exchange, the, the one that popped up. Synopsis going negative as well. Trimble, yeah, that's shown up. In genomics, there is fate therapeutics that's most red. And then there are some more regeneration, Takeda, Roche, Novartis, etc. So that's uh, your daily dose of ARC information, guys. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.